Is the Jeff Smears the Destiny seasonal model getting a bit stale? Don't get me wrong, I like new activities and new exotics just as much as the next guy, but there's only so many different ways you could put meat between two slices of bread and call it a sandwich before I get bored. Yeah, I mean, you can put mustard or mayonnaise or lettuce or onions or whatever in between, but besides the small variants, it's pretty much the same experience all around. One activity that nobody likes to play but slogs through it just because they feel like they have to to get the new pieces of gear, some new dungeon or some type of more interesting activity that's, you know, enjoyable for quite a while and has some cool gear in it, and then one to two new exotics. Again, this seasonal model works, but it's just getting old. So I propose to my YouTube audience, what would you prefer? A season where we just go through the normal routine, you know, the same thing as normal, or would you rather have a season where we get nothing but 30 to 70 new exotics, and overwhelmingly, people want exotics. So let's talk about a couple. If it's not from a video game, its art is linked in the description below. Let me know if you can figure out what each piece of art is from, like what game it's from, and stick around to the end as I will have an exotic challenge for you to try to build into for a guaranteed feature coming in the next episode. Let's jump into this here with Bora. Boria? I think I'm pronouncing that right. Boy with the axolotl profile picture with the, oh my goodness, vap, vaporescent, vap, Comment section, please be kind. It's a warlock chess piece with the exotic perk Grasp of Volatility. After picking up a Void Elemental Well or an Orb of Power, Void Weapons gain volatile rounds for a moderate time. Now, this doesn't look like the most exciting thing in the world, but what this does well and what I really like to see out of an exotic is that it opens up a new play style without needing to be super wordy. Typically, whenever somebody is trying to propose something that, you know, creates a new play style out of an exotic armor piece or whatnot, it tends to be multiple paragraphs long and my brain just sort of goes onto monkey mode and I tend to gloss over it, which is not a good thing because somebody like myself who's actually looking for the stuff, imagine if a new light was trying to pick up an exotic and saw a giant wall of text looking at you, Boots of the Assembler. But regardless, this idea is quite cool. It allows the Warlock access to something that it doesn't normally have access to super well outside of its melee on the Void subclass. But what's more interesting is that theoretically, this could be used on any subclass to grant those volatile rounds. Also playing around the Orb of Power as well as the Void Elemental Wells makes that it would be viable in both PvP or PvE. PvP having access to an Orb of Power is relatively rare, but decent enough that you could kind of play around it and Elemental Wells kind of creates a play style out of this. Yeah, this is quite, quite good. I'm gonna start giving these a rating as we don't tend to keep any type of coherence into how I end up structuring these things. So out of 10, I'm gonna give this a nine. Honestly, the succinctness with this, as well as how just beautiful this can create its own play style for the void locks is good. I'm marking off a bit of a point here because it doesn't make sense for a grasp of volatility to be a chess piece, but that's purely a flavor thing. The next idea from our Discord is from Wooloob. With a special grenade launcher, its exotic trait fires a slow moving payload that only detonates after a bounce. Tap fire again to detonate it early, dealing full damage, impact damage converted to blast damage, but with a harsher damage falloff. So in other words, it has a smaller general blast radius. Exotic per consume your grenade to activate micro missiles with an effect based on your subclass for a short duration. And here comes the paragraph. So I am already a little bit hesitant that we have a paragraph here uh, for each of these. This is a very common thing to do. If you are proposing an exotic idea, I strongly discourage you from you know doing this where it's like each subclass does its own thing but rather just allow it to be somewhat natural to what it's going to do. This is relatively fine, but there is quite a bit going on here. Just for example, void by itself, very weak pull towards epicenter and detonates twice. Killed enemies explode and spread volatile. That's a lot going on. I think it'd be much easier if it just said void, damage with this weapon causes volatile. You know, something a lot more basic. Because again, if I'm starting to gloss over just by seeing the amount of stuff happening here, surely, a new light's gonna be glossing over as well. But this idea is kind of cool. I can already see the animation in my mind of somebody putting the grenade inside of the grenade launcher in order to get it to proc. And then once it fires off, it bounces once, these micro missiles spawn out of it and sort of like Eyes of Tomorrow style seek towards the target, causing that extra effect. Quite cool idea all around. But again, just a little bit wordy. So out of 10, I'm gonna give this, hmm, I'm gonna give this a seven. It has an interesting play style kind of baked into it as well, being a you know grenade based thing. You could obviously play into it depending on the effects that come out of it. Kind of cool, but just a bit big of an idea and possibly a little bit difficult to balance. Now coming into our Patreons. Now I'm throwing this one out here, guaranteed because this is an honor of a Patreon person who had a brother 
recently pass away, which is, as somebody who has little brothers themselves, I my heart goes out for you. I can't imagine the grief that your family went through. So this is the exotic Titan Gauntlet, Doc's Mercy. The exotic perk is Missile's Raid. Press super activation again to launch straight down and create electric tornado, causing damage over time within a radius instead of direct damage. We got the note at the bottom. Doc and I love Destiny. He passed not too long ago. He was a Titan main and I was gonna do a funny one, but this felt right and it would be awesome if this one is in the video. Of course, this is for you, Doc. You could even have it to where when in, they're inside that tornado, they get blinded or something like that. I could definitely see that working. It sounds like it would be pretty good. Uh, the damage would be the biggest thing here, but I'm sure you could fine tune that. All in all, not a terrible idea though. I don't, I don't want to rate this one here because this was done just in somebody's honor. So, you know, we're just going to roll on this one, but I will say I do like this idea. I do think it has some potential. All right. Stuck, stuck, stuck. Saint Cannoli. I think it's Saint Cannoli. Yeah. Saint Cannoli. All right. Shield Breaker's Delight. First of all, name. My goodness. Can we come up with something a little bit more Destiny-esque? Something a little bit more flavorful? I mean, at least it gets to the point, but that's uh, a bit on the news, shall we say. It's a 260 scout rifle with extended barrel, armor piercing rounds, osmosis, short action, stock, intrinsic perk, shield breakers resolve. When osmosis is active, breaking the matching shield applies a debuff to nearby enemies based on your subclass element. Example, void weakens a target, solar scorches a target, and the catalyst perk elemental control after breaking multiple shields in rapid succession you and your fire team receive a 10 percent damage buff to weapons or abilities with the matching element i love this in fact i love this so much that i think this is probably like just a better version of hard light and i think that's what hard light could probably be now hard light has been kind of you know power crept out of the game just a little bit it still has a place but when things like Dead Messenger and Borealis exist, it's really hard to justify using Hard Light over it. This could be a really cool rework to it. Just even adding the whole, just the intrinsic perk from this weapon with the whole breaking shield matching elemental type causing that debuff as the Hard Light's catalyst would be really cool. But even just taking this by itself, this works. This absolutely works. I love the idea of having to play into the osmosis in order to make this happen, which sort of sets up the sort of mini game of stacking damage on targets. Of course, you can play further into like causing Scorch weakening a target with the rest of your subclass so that all works brilliantly as well going into it an activity with matching subclass elements to shield would just allow you to get through that activity a lot easier all in all a really solid thing this is definitely a pve exclusive as this wouldn't really have any place in pvp it's unless you're breaking like the shield of a super but that's okay sometimes we get pvp exotics like i don't know the last word which i know has kind of been made somewhat more relevant now because of the uh, lucky pants but you know you get that kind of thing and then you get pve exclusive things things like izanagi's burden which really don't make sense for pvp it doesn't doesn't mean that they don't work it's just you know not really something you would be choosing primarily so i think this would fall into that particular category i'm gonna give this an eight out of ten Last one for our patrons, by the way, if you've been enjoying this thus far and you would like an increased chance of getting your exotic idea featured just because there's not as many people, join us on Patreon. It really does mean a lot to me. You can join in even at just the, the basic $3 tier and you can you know, contribute to these types of discussions as well as the other ideas. From Five Headed Hydra, we have Boots of Questionable Stealth. And I just love this name. This just sounds like a D&D, &D, uh, a DM's name for this, right? Just something silly but you know it's gonna be good right it's exotic titan boots the flavor text i love this the flavor text they can't see me if they're not alive which i suppose is correct the perk name is who'd said anything about quiet your volatile explosions cause a weakening effect that's already quite interesting defeating a volatile combatant with a melee void weapon or finisher grants invisibility i do think that this is just a little bit too strong right here because the ability to chain volatile, especially in PvE, would be a little bit too much. PvP, this would be fine, but I think this would be better if this was just your abilities, like eliminating a target with a void ability grants invisibility. I think that would be okay, but with a void weapon, it's just a little too free. But I love the idea of the volatile causing something else, and that weakening effect can be incredibly strong as well. All in all, a great idea. I think, again, the balance is the biggest thing about this, and obviously the name is a bit silly, but, you know, that's okay if we get a couple of those if they're obviously intentionally tongue-in-cheek. So, out of 10, I'm going to give this a 7. It's definitely interesting, but maybe just a bit too strong, but can easily be refined. And now, coming to the YouTube comments, I will say, 
The featured exotic for the week, the exotic that I like the most, came from the YouTube comments, and that's why I'm featuring it last. So we're gonna start off with this one here that I quite like too from K33, the Tecromancer's Pride. This is a stasis linear fusion rifle with the intrinsic perk, Chilled Ammunition. This weapon fires stasis icicles that penetrate and slow enemies on impact. Projectiles stick into walls like thorn bullets. So already as a heavy linear fusion rifle, this sort of has a similar flavor to something like, oh, then I'm forgetting right now. Come on, you know the one I'm thinking of salvation's grip thank you thank you for beaming that to my brain hole yeah this is kind of like the salvation's grip where it causes a type of effect when you hit an enemy but the exotic perk the hyper coolant is where it really gets spicy hold reload with a full magazine to convert your ammo into a single slow charging high damage stasis rod which freezes enemies on impact and leaves a trail of small stasis crystals in its path not only did you somehow find a way to allow both the slow and the freeze at a cost that makes sense to it but also the stasis crystals which is not something that really any of the other exotics again arguably except for like a uh, tectonic harvest uh salvation's grip almost forgot it again salvation's grip uh combo could kind of work with this right like there's ways to make it work but this directly gives you access to it and that's really cool i like this quite a bit the cost makes sense you could adjust the damage of the high impact bolt to where it would be you know would make sense for the rest of the game in terms of its balance all in all, fantastic idea. I'm gonna give this a nine out of 10. This seems balanced in both PVP and for PVE. It's exotic, so, you know, exotic heavy, it takes up a little bit more, does a little bit more. Yeah, this is doing so much for me, but that pales into comparison to what the featured exotic of the week is. The last exotic idea comes from Rosinio underscore PL with the arms of the hero. It's an exotic Titan arm piece with the exotic perk airstrike shield. While your throwing shield is in air, press melee again to transform it into a towering barricade. Consumes one fourth of your barricade energy. If you have bastion equipped as an aspect, it works with it as well. I cannot stress to you how cool of an idea this is. Effectively, what you could do with this is whenever you threw this thing out, you could kind of get like a second barricade to happen, but it would also cost you not only your melee, but also a bit of your barricade as well. So you can't just spam this thing, right? You have to have something up and active in order to make this work. It would make sense if you threw down the barricade first and then went to do this and like, maybe it doesn't trigger it, maybe it does not. But I love this idea of being able to play like what is effectively a forward shield with this thing being able to protect allies, provide that type of barrier to the enemies. I've been looking for an exotic, like this This for me is the exotic I've been looking for. I've been looking for an exotic that allows my Titan to really play like a defender, not the second shield thing that we've got, which uh, the shield throws kind of suck in PVP. I mean, the Helm of Saint 14 is cool, but it only comes up during super. It, it doesn't really play into the, the barricade heavy play style that I really feel like Titan could really play around this does this i love this idea so i hopefully hopefully it goes without saying for me this is a 10 out of 10. some people did bring up some concerns in the comment section but really the idea is so well put together enough that i think it could work regardless of the cost the balance everything is so perfect for this thing but let me know what you think of this general style slightly less on the art and such but a little bit more ideas involved in a particular video if this is something you'd like to see going forward drop it in the comment down below as well as drop your own exotic idea as you saw i do take exotic ideas from the youtube comments as well but of course make sure that you're subscribed first and hit that like button if you enjoyed it. In the meantime, bless your faces and deuces.